Hey everyone, free 2 gil here. Today I want to cover the Wayback Machine, another one of my top 10 tools. What is it? It's used to find copies of web pages over time. So if you want to see what a website looked like a year ago or 10 years ago, you can use the Wayback Machine for this. Or if you're working on a file and the web page doesn't exist anymore, you can go to this archive to see if it was captured there. So we're going to go to facebook.com forward slash suck and we'll see if we get any hits. So you'll see it's been captured over many different years, several times. Let's go to 2009 and we'll click on July 22nd. Just gonna click on that one more time. It's just thinking. So from here, you can see there's um, some historical capture of Zuckerberg's Facebook friends list. So if you wanted to make a screenshot of this, this is where Forensic OSINT comes in. You can click on the app. You can say capture current screen and it'll make the screen capture for you and it will place it in the case management system. So I'll just look at that one right here. I'm just gonna close these other files. And you can see here it's uh, captured and you can download it from there. So let's just go back for a second. What else can you do on the Wayback Machine? So I'm just gonna go use the back button, go back here. So again, you can put in a website here. You can see if you can find uh, older uh, copies of it. Or there's also another place on the Internet Archive where you can search for books, software, other things people have uploaded. And I'm gonna put in here cigarette commercial and i'm going to just hit go i'm going to see like what's here you're going to see there's different things there might be um, a little commercial clip i'm going to click here and this is that additional uh, little tip i'm going to give you so two things you can do from here one you can play it you can see that it is a clip you can scroll down and I'm going to click on show all because I'm looking for certain metadata that might be helpful to you as a researcher. The file you want to click on is meta.xml. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to control find. I'm going to put in uploader and I'm going to see that this is the email of the person who uploaded that um, video file to the Wayback Machine. So again, it gives you that little tidbit. Let's go back a couple of steps. If you wanted to capture this, you could use the Forensic OSINT app here as well. So now we want to use the Forensic OSINT app to download this video. So actually what you're going to do is right click view page source, control F and enter MP4. And now I'm going to just take that URL, copy it over, open it up and here's the video. And from here, I'm going to select the Forensic OSINT app on the download video tab, click on that and let it download. All right, looks like it downloaded. And here you can open up the folder. You can see here the zip file. We're going to click it, click on that, and then you're going to see the MP4 is downloaded. You can also open up the PDF. It, this is something that comes with your video download. It's called the Video Evidence Continuity Report, and it has all those essential details you need uh, in order to um, keep the integrity of what you saved when you did. Um, and it even includes a little snapshot of what's included in that video. Um, you'll see the date and time and st timestamp are there. Uh, you'll see the hash values as well. So that's another little piece with what you get for video downloads. So that's it for today. I covered a couple of tricks with the Wayback Machine. I talked about Forensic OSINT and how you can use that for documentation with a click of a button. And I uh, just want to say thanks for watching today and stay tuned for next week's video.